you know, my, my scripts and my films, they are never, never like the, the, the final cut. It's not like never, never like the script, you know. Uh, I, first, because I love to work with the actors. You know, they bring a lot of things for the script. I love when they improvise. I love when they understand the idea of the scene and have, have built up the dialogue to be more natural, more organic. And afterwards, we, we go to the shooting. In the shooting, there are circumstances of locations, of something that we discover now, and the choreography that changed sometimes the whole scene. And after we go to the editing, that's another process to build up the script again. So I, I, what I say that my script, there, there are four stages, one in the paper, after when you do the rehearsals, after when you do the shot, shot, and after when you do the editing, you know. I never, never stop changing the, the script. I love that. And I think it's a process because you get more mature with the script, but after you get more mature with the actor, with the characters, when the art, actors come, and after we have the, the, the shooting, that's another process, and the film is more lively, and after you do the editing, that the film is gonna say who is gonna be out or in in the film. So I never stop write the script. <laughs> That's it. How are you doing this? I think there is a process of confidence. I think the whole actors and actresses has to be very confident with the director, confident with the project, understand what the film is about, and what's the, 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 the temperature of interpretation we want. For example, in Paloma, you wanted a very naturalistic interpretation, where more is, is not good, less, less is always good, but how are you gonna say to the actor, less, you know? It's complicated to say that, you know. It's better to rehearse less and less and less and less and less. Every day you used to do a scene and after what you used to take that out, that out, that out, that out, and only leave the most important thing. That's the heart of every little thing. When the actors and the actresses know where is the heart of the scene, they get there. When they know what the director wants. And when they know where's the truth, they're gonna find it. But you have to show to them. The director has to show to them where's the truth and give confidence to them to find the truth. You know, I, I was born, you know, watching Italian re realism in Brazil. I love Italian realism and I love documentaries, you know. Brazil has got a very strong tradition in documentary, like Eduardo Coutinho, that's our great documentaries. You know, I love documentaries, I love the new realism. I think that both uh, styles is in my film, you know. They contaminate my films, all my films are contaminated by the new realism and the documentary. But above that, what I'm looking for is the truth. You know, it seems that the truth is much more easy to find in a more realistic and naturalistic way. I think it's much more complicated because it's so simple and simplicity is very difficult to achieve. <laughs> I, uh, I would love to have another influence that's not the new realism because to find the truth in my films is much more difficult and you have to work a lot. I think to, to be an actor in the film is to be in scene, completely in scene, physically in scene, mentally in scene, emotionally in scene, right? And I think it's important to, to, the, to the actors to understand that, you know, the way that they walk, the way that they use their hands, the way that the, she, it look, the way that the actor looks at a tree has to be to do with the characters, not only the dialogue, not only the words or the eyes, has to be the whole body. And I think the first thing I do is to think about the way that the character walks, the way that the character eats, the way that the character have a shower. You know, I prepare 
my, 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 my group of actors in this way. They have to be completely in scene and react about the things that happen by chance. Like they are a human being, not them, <laughs> them but another human being, but has to be there in the whole scene, you know. I was in my film, I was doing a scene with the little girl because the kids, they, they are actors, you know. They, they play with fantasy more than the adults. And one of the actors said, shall I do this scene smoking a cigarette because I'm, I'm very nervous? And I said, okay, smoke the cigarette. And when the actor started to smoke the cigarette, the little guy said, we are rehearsing. In the middle of the rehearsal, he said, oh, I hate smoke, I hate smoke. He said, wow, that's wonderful. You know, that's wonderful. Because she was in scene, completely in scene. She not only prepared to say her lines, she was completely in scene to react to everything. And I said to everyone, look, look what she did, <laughs> you know. She did some, something completely marvelous. And that's the point that is the true. The true is in the little details that happen. Well, I'm doing my work because I want to answer questions that I don't have the answer, and I want to share with the audience the doubts I have about life, you know, and to show films like Paloma is to present to people characters that has got doubts about life. We share our doubts, we share our feelings, and sharing feelings, we understand the other that's completely different from us. You know, open ourselves for the other that's completely different from us. You break prejudices. I think my theme, Emma, is about to break prejudice and to have a better life together with everyone. It doesn't matter who is who.